Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a tutorial for this look and this is something a little bit different for me. Um, not something I normally do, but I wanted to play around with something I recently got in the mail, which is the Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby palette. So surprisingly, that's what, this is kind of what came from it. Um, also switching it up and doing kind of like a nude lip, which I never do, you guys know. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to know how I did it, um, just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. First things first, I'm going to be taking Frostine eyeshadow from the Sparkle Baby palette, which is kind of just a light purple. And this is going to go all over my lid. And into the crease. And then also, I'm just going to swirl it around kind of right where that brow line is. I'm also going to be taking 2AM and Poison Berry from Sugar Pill. I believe that's called Poison Berry. Don't quote me on that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of 2AM on a pencil brush. And this is going to go into um, kind of like a cut crease. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out. Also taking a little bit of that 2AM color and kind of just plopping it right in this kind of area. And then just going in with the darker purple. Again, just basically doing the same thing just to darken that up. And the next thing I did was take a different pencil brush and I went into Kitten Parade, which is kind of this orangey peachy color. It's one of my favorite colors actually from this palette. And again, just taking that on a pencil brush and this is going to go on the inner corner and then also right underneath the eye. And it's okay if it's a little messy because we're gonna be blending this down pretty low. And then also taking that color on a paddle brush Get a little bit on there, and this is going to go above the purple. And then for underneath the eye, I'm going to be using the darker purple and a little bit of velocity, which is the blue. I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush. This is going to go underneath the eye. And then my favorite thing is just taking this blue, which is crazy and putting that underneath and you can see that color is just insane. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the blue which is called Candy Crush from the Sparkle Baby palette and this is going to go right underneath that blue and then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of blend that out. You can go in with some other colors just to make it even on both sides. Okay, and then once that's completed, I'm just gonna be adding a line of black eyeliner. I'm also applying a black eyeliner. This is Feline Eye Cool from MAC, and that's gonna go underneath my eyes, or in the waterline. I'm also going to tight line my upper waterline, which, ugh, I hate. And then I'm just gonna take this pencil brush that I used to put the colors on the bottom and I'm just going to be blending that out a little bit. I'll kind of smoke it out. And then just to really darken up the colors on the top, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Bulletproof, like just a tad, and that's gonna go and darken a little bit of the crease up. And then I'm also just going to blend that out with a fluffy brush with a little bit of the darker purple. And then to kind of finish it off, I'm taking a darker, I'm taking a fluffy brush and going into the blue and just getting a little bit on to my brush. And that's going to get dusted 
right in that center part near the eyebrow. Now, mine's not gonna look straight because I do this a lot and this muscle is actually stronger on this side of my face. So my eyebrows are never even and my like center piece is never even. If you have a more symmetrical face, it will look better, but that's just my face. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that color in there. And then just in case any of the pink kind of got lost or the, um, sorry, the kind of peachy color, which is called Kitten Parade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and then just kind of go over um, where I put it before. Cause it can kind of get lost when we're blending out everything else. And then you can always just use a Q-tip to make sure you get out any eye goobies. Cause I tend to get eye goobies when I put um, waterline colors in. All right, so the last couple steps you wanna do, you wanna apply a coat of mascara. I'm just using any kind of random mascara. And then you really want to try to get as much um, black into your lashes as you can. So I'm just taking the black eyeliner again and just kind of wiggling that in between my eyelashes just to make sure everything is like super, super black. The reason for this is I'm using these eyelashes that I got from like a Halloween thing and they are by far the most pain in the ass eyelashes that I have ever applied um, I not I don't consider myself like an eyelash pro but I'm pretty decent at applying false eyelashes and these took me like six tries to stick on my face I was just so frustrated that I'm like stick in there if you're using like really they were from NYC like they're dirt cheap I got them for like a dollar in my like Halloween clearance bin note to self use better eyelashes because these are absolutely terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to stick these ones on and I'll show you how to finish up the rest of the face. Okay guys, so this is what the final eye looks like. Of course, this one went on so much easier than this one. So we're just going to look at this eye and completely ignore the fuck up that is this. No. So this eye looks beautiful. Okay, so for the face, I already have on my regular foundation routine and I have the um, Sculpt and Shaped palette on my face. So a little bit of contouring, a little bit of highlighting. I also put a little bit of vanilla pigment, which is like my favorite pigment from MAC. I have such an old bottle, they don't even make these anymore, but I um, have it highlighted here and also underneath my brow, down my nose, all that jazz. But I decided that it might be kind of a nice thing to use um, a little bit of these colors, like this color and that one, to make kind of like a blush highlight for this look. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out. And if it looks crazy, it looks crazy. So yeah. Like the slightest bit of this Hotsy Totsy color, which is the pink, that looks absolutely terrifying. I'm just gonna use that just as a blush. That's crazy, but I'm gonna blend it out, so. And then for a highlight, I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of Kitten Parade and see what this looks like as a highlight because I have a funny feeling it's gonna look gorgeous or it could look like a big orange mess. Oh, no, that's pretty nice actually. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but it's Pretty nice. I think if you had really tan skin, which I definitely don't, I think we all can uh, agree to that, um, it would look totally gorgeous. But it is a really nice top of the cheek highlight kind of blending in between. Like say you have your blush and then you have this kind of color and then you have your highlight. Mm, that would look nice. So for lips, because we got a lot going on in the face, I'm thinking I'm just doing a nude lip. So I'm actually just going to outline my lips using a nude lip liner. And this isn't a brand. I got this from when I was in like beauty school. So I think it's just like a generic nude lip liner. It's literally just called nude. So any color that kind of looks like that, something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. 
Okay, and then for the lip color, I'm going to use a little bit of a mix between um, Velvet Teddy and Hue lipstick. So I'm going to kind of mix those up. Okay, so that is the final look. I did overdraw my lips just a tad, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a something, not like it needed it. So yeah, that is the final look. I do hope you guys enjoy it. I will have a review up of the Sparkle Baby palette once I've played around with it a little bit more. So yeah, I will include the links to um, most of the products that I use down below, as well as a full product list and stuff like that. Um, also my Facebook and Instagram. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And yeah, so until my next one, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.